Hey guys, I'm here today with a skincare routine video. I have been asked for a little while to do an update on one of these and I wanted to wait until I felt like everything was really good and I was down to a really good routine and I feel like I am now so I figured now is as good a time as any to do it. I do want to say that I have recently cut back on a lot of things I was using and I'm kind of down to the basics and I feel like my skin is really doing the best doing that. So if there's ever been any products you've seen me mention that you're not seeing today, it's not that they're not good products, it's just I'm really cutting back on the amount I was doing to my skin. So let me just tell you about my skin if you are new to my channel. I have rosacea. I have the type that they call type 2 or sub type 2. Um, it's kind of like the pustule kind. It's really, really attractive and gross. It's I don't have like the overall facial redness that most people do, but I have these patches on my cheeks that are very red. They have bumpy, it's very nasty, gross texture to it. My skin overall is pretty combo. I can get oily, but I can get dry. It's sensitive. I am prone to breakouts, so I just have a little bit of everything. So, let's get started with the morning. So, the first thing I use is a cleanser. I've been using the Murad Resurgence Renewing Cleansing Cream for quite a while now. This is a very large cleanser, and I'm down to about there. When I first started using it, it just didn't seem... I mean, it was just okay. But the more I've been using it, because I've been using it for a few months now, probably maybe even longer, oh, quite a while. I mean, it takes a lot of time to get down to there because you don't use much. I really like it. It is expensive, but it's just such a basic, gentle, no frills cleanser. It's basic. It doesn't like irritate my skin, but it's like, I feel like it cleans my skin. So I've really been enjoying it. It says combats hormonal, hormonal aging and concerns associated with dry and balanced skin. So I really like it. And then this, I almost didn't want to even mention this in the video. I've only been using it about a week, so if you want to take anything with a grain of salt, take this. But it's the Humphreys Alcohol-Free Cucumber Melon Witch Hazel Redness Reducing Facial Toner. And I picked mine up on Vitacost. It is extremely inexpensive. Um, no irritation so far, so, so far so good, but I can't really attest to it's like if it's going to stick around forever. And then next step is probably the most important. It's the Cebu Beauty Seed Buckthorn Seed Oil. I use this for my rosacea patches. I use probably about the size of a dime and I really work it into these patches. I did go through a phase where I tried to use it as an all over moisturizer, but I didn't feel like it did as good of a job for these patches. I mean, it was fine all over, but this, I really work it. I mean, I really rub it into those areas and get that good and saturated and it is just amazing stuff. If you've watched me for any length of time, you've heard me talk about it. And then I'm really trying to work through a lot of my samples, so sometimes I'm using a sample eye cream or, you know, whatever, but here lately I've been using the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff in the morning. It's kind of a pink tone eye cream. Let me see if I can show you. It's okay. I don't think it is amazing. I will not purchase a full size, but it's been working fine. But like I said, a lot of times I'm using a sample eye cream, so this just kind of changes all the time. And then for my face moisturizer, this I'm almost done with, but I have another one. It's the Caudalie Vino Perfect Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Day Perfecting Fluid. And it does not offer a lot of moisture. Um... I mean, if it was, if you have super dry skin, it's not going to be enough. And let me see if I can show you. This is a colored, can you see that? I don't want to really waste it, but I want to show you. It is colored kind of like the Origins um, Vita Zinc, which I did use a lot last summer and liked. So it has a color, but this is a lot more pale and you can see it just rubs into nothing. So it's not really a tinted moisturizer, but it is nice because it gives you just a little hint of color. But I've really been liking that. It hasn't irritated my skin. It has SPF, what did I say, 15? Not a lot, but every little bit helps. And I've just, it's been nice. The Caudalie brand is very basic and gentle and um, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. And then for lip balm, I've been using my Lush Honey Trap after I'm done with all that. And that is the extent of my morning routine. 
So I cleanse, I treat my rosacea, and moisturize, and the toner's pretty new. So that is pretty basic. And then for nighttime, I have a few little more steps, but it's because you're removing makeup. So first thing I've been using to remove my eye makeup because, well, let me tell you this. Okay, I've been using the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser to remove my face makeup. And it's just like a cream, and you rub it into your skin dry with all your makeup and really work it around. And then you use a muslin cloth. You want to get it damp with mm, lukewarm water. I mean, pretty warm, but not like too warm. Wring it out, and you just basically like massage it off. And this doesn't remove my waterproof mascara on its own very. It doesn't remove it well enough. So I've been going in with the Sonia Kashuk Remove eye makeup remover. It's one of the dual phases and removing my eye makeup with this. This remover is nice, but the Equate one, that's the Neutrogena knockoff at Walmart, it works just as well and it's so much cheaper. But this is nice. All these little dual phase ones, this, the Mary Kay, the Clinique, the Equate, the Neutrogena, they all work really nice. So, um, but I probably won't repurchase this one because of the price. And that is what I use to take off my eye makeup. Then this Hey guys, I know I look different, but I didn't realize I left out a few parts when I was getting ready to put my video up. After I remove my makeup, I always follow up with my face wash. The Murad one that I use in the morning, I use at night. Unless I'm washing my hair and I'm in the shower, then I just use whatever face wash I have in there, which is not pretty often. I wash my hair like twice a week. So any other time, I wash my face at the sink with the Murad. And then I do follow it up with the Witch Hazel, which is still pretty new. And then everything will continue as usual. This next step is kind of odd, but I want to mention it to you guys. I use Johnson's Baby Shampoo. I use a tiny bit on my fingers and really work it into my lash line. I have been prone to styes ever since having my daughter. And I've done a lot of reading and a lot of research and talked to the eye doctor. And apparently some people's, I guess, like um, hair follicles just get clogged really easily. And that's what causes a sty. And a lot of people recommend doing like a daily eye wash. And there's a lot of eye washes you can purchase. But a lot of people will use like diluted baby shampoo because if it gets in your eye, it doesn't burn. And I just, I mean, it's really a quick step. I just get a little bit of my fingers, do it back and forth like this, and then I rinse it off. But it does kind of help remove any leftover eye makeup as well. So if you are prone to styes, eye infections, and you don't do something like this, give it a try and see how it works. It has really worked wonders for me. Okay, so I do that. Then next off, I go back in with my Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil and use a little bit more and really massage it into the rosacea areas just as like I did in the morning time. Then my eye cream for night, which I really love. And like I said, I've also been going through some samples of other things. But the one I've been using most is the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. And it is a very thick balm. I mean, it is super thick. The first time I ever tried it, I was thinking there is no way. And I get it on my fingertips and I really kind of rub it together to make it a little more um, spreadable. And I just pat it into my eye areas. That's, it's not like a lotion that you could just swipe on. Not that you should do that. I really pat it into my eye areas and it feels amazing. I couldn't use it during the day because it's just a little too tacky. But I do love it. And then the moisturizer I've been using at night is just the CeraVe Moisturize Lotion. Um, I was using the night one, a sample from the dermatologist. And I also had this one from the derm. It's just a one ounce. I really like it. It is just very basic, no frills. You know, I was using some serums and like more treatment products, which I feel like I need that, but it irritates my skin. So I don't know. Right now, this is what's working for me. It's keeping my rosacea at bay. And so I'm going to just stick with it. So I do that. And then one little thing also that I've been using is the Revita or Revita Lash Advanced Eyelash Conditioner. I am going to do a video on it as soon as um, I've used it long enough. I've only been using it about four weeks now. I'm taking pictures for y'all so you'll be able to see if there's any um, progress. And it's just a little paintbrush thing like this. And I do it on top. And it says to draw a band across the eyelashes. And I do that and then I kind of pull it down a little to coat the top. Um, I've only been using it four weeks and I think they say results give it about six weeks. 
I do think it is working though, but you will see an updated follow up on that. And then I have just a few little treatments that I use, um, and I'll tell you when I use them. For spot treatment, I've gone back and forth on various things. I haven't really been getting just any just straight pimples or breakouts in a while. I mean, I have irritation on those, but I wouldn't dare put a spot treatment on that. I just use my Cebu seed oil and it takes care of it. But lately, I've had not many, but I pulled out my Mario Badescu drying lotion. This is one of those two-phase ones. I've used this off and on and it really dries them out, but you can only use it at nighttime. I know there's like some generic versions you can get at the drugstore that are kind of knockoffs. I've never used any of those, but you know, I, I hear good things about those. But really, honestly, I think whatever pimple cream works for you is the one to use because everything works differently for other people. The La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo, a lot of people would rave about that. I picked it up and it was oh it, it was bad so anyways I don't do a lot of exfoliation and I never do it on my rosacea areas but every few weeks I feel like I need to get a good exfoliate and my favorite is the Laura Mercier flawless skin face polish I had this little sample this is what I'm working on right now but this is not something I do very regular and then I did pull a few of my masks that are my favorite masks Sometimes if I don't have to wear anywhere to go during the day, I'll do a mask in the daytime and then sometimes at night it just varies. If I'm feeling like my skin is really congested, my two favorites are the Freeman Facial Clay Mask Mint and Lemon. I have used a lot of this or the Glam Glow Super Mud, the white one. I never use it on my rosacea patches. I just use it in my T-zone and then around the edge. And I just feel like they kind of, you know, get the junk out of your pores if you're feeling extra congested and then especially in the winter I've been using the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud and I do use this all over my face at night and I sleep in it. Um, I think the directions say you can put it on for five minutes and then rinse off but or you can leave it on all night and I just leave it on all night and I feel like it really gives my skin a boost of moisture. It doesn't irritate anything on my face. I really like it. I have quite a few masks, quite a few but I just wanted to pull a few of my favorites and show y'all. And I do masks maybe once a week. Sometimes I'm good about it. Sometimes I'll go a month without doing one. So that is my skincare routine. It may seem like a lot, but I really think it's pretty basic and it's working for me. And um, that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye.